I'm going to show you how to draw these eight characters with my one minute art tutorials. Here's how it's going to work. The tutorial will be displayed in the middle. They go pretty fast, so you have to pause. Please pause. On the left here, I followed my own tutorials, but with my left hand. So if you want to see my awful scuffed drawings, you can watch over here. On the right side, I had a friend of mine who doesn't draw try out the tutorials for the first time. If Josh, with no art experience, can follow these instructions, you can too, so don't be afraid. All right, let's get started. Make a solid gray circle. Using black, trace the edge of the circle, but get a little wonky. Now make a smaller wonky circle inside. Fill in the gray with white. Using the circle tool, make two eyes. Put three little circles inside each eye. Okay, let's draw an oval. We're gonna carve a nose out of this oval. Next, we're gonna use a thicker green brush to draw the eyebrows, mustache, and mouth. Keep the ends of the eyebrows and mustache pointy and make the bottom of the mouth go over the crust. Nice. Let's outline all the green parts. This is a good chance to fix up the shape of things. I made this part of the mustache a little bit more curly. Don't forget that the top lip is separated from the bottom lip. Now the fun part, we get to color it all in with the fill tool. Let's make the cheese yellow, the crust and nose brown, and the eyes red. Double check for any stray pixels that didn't get colored. Ask yourself, do I need to fix anything? I moved this eye down a bit. If you want to, you can do a little bit of shading. And we're done! Draw a gray circle. Draw two little circles here. Draw a wide oval that's connected below. Smooth out the circle in the oval. Make the bottom flatter. Add two white circles here. These are the eyes. Use a larger brush and make hands with one, two, three strokes. One, two, three strokes. Now for the feet. Same thing, but facing up. One, two, three strokes. Okay, let's outline the eyes. We'll add some pupils going in opposite directions. Let's put some white highlights in the pupils too. Now we'll add a big smile. I'm joking, this is a nose. We'll add a line and two dots to finish it up. Let's outline those paws. We'll add a belly line too. Time to outline the feet. Next, we'll outline the body. Don't forget to add whiskers. Finally, draw a triangle down here to add a tail. We'll put an extra line here for rat tail texture. Fill the tail and nose with paint. Feel free to add some optional shading. And you're done. Great work. Draw two ovals. Connect the ovals and fill in. Draw two ears with a thick brush. Using darker pink, make two eye ovals. Make a nose here. Make a thin smile shape underneath. We'll put a chin here. Let's add some extra pork. To do this, I draw a curved line and then fill in the white space. A little bit more down here too, a bit to the side. Okay, time to add some details. Let's put some smaller dark ovals in the eyes. And now we can add some big pupils. We'll thicken the top of the eyelids too. Next up, two nostrils. We'll make a thin smile touching the bottom of the nose. We'll add a couple of little necklines down here and then outline the head. Put some shoulder lines here too. Finally, let's add some highlights. The top of the nose, the top of the head. Don't forget the whites of the eyes. Oh, and let's color the shirt. I added a pattern. And we're done. You did great. Draw a rectangle. Now we'll round out the corners. Nice. Let's add two small rectangles here. Let's round out these corners too. All right, put a couple of semicircles underneath. Fill in with black. Add some curved lines under the eyes. Okay, time for a big oval. Erase the top of the oval. Now we can add the bridge of the nose. We'll draw the mouth next, so draw these lines. One, two, three. Make a dent here and then expand the cheek. Fill in that brow too. Okay, time to outline everything. Let's add some yellow pupils. Now it's time for some details. We'll add a zigzag crack up here, a couple of forehead lines, a rectangle band-aid, and two rectangles in the shape of an X down here too. Let's add one more zigzag crack right here. Let's fill in the band-aids. I'm gonna take a little time here and add some shadows. Ooh, it's coming together. And do you know what would look really good? Some highlights too. And we're done. Great work. Limit. 
Draw a wide circle. And now for a smaller circle. Connect the two and fill in. Okay, let's draw the legs with a thick paintbrush. It's basically four blobs. And now we'll draw two thick tube arms. Add some chubby fingers. Draw a smile. Add a black circle. Let's smooth out the smile. Let's do two small circles for the eyes. Of course, we've got to have the eyelids and some pupils too. Oh, can't forget eyebrows. Okay, now it's time to outline everything. That looks great. We'll fill in the eyes, add a thick red tongue, we'll add a chin line and fill in the eyelids. Okay, it's time to do some shading. Don't forget to do some lines on the feet too. And finally, we'll add some highlights. Okay, let's draw the blood on his hands. Draw the bars of his jail cell. Draw a key. Now throw it away. We need to keep this freak locked up. He is a dangerous criminal. Do not drink this water A golden flower. Draw a large oval. Draw a lighter oval over top. Add another into the center. Now we're gonna draw four more ovals that get smaller and darker. We're using quite a few colors from this color ramp down here, but that's because we're trying to make this feel 3D, like a real oh. hole. Time for some eyes. Don't forget to add a little bit of shine too. Let's add a dark yellow lump. We'll put a wavy lime green line through the middle and then fill in the bottom. Now let's add a couple of heart-shaped green leaves. Now let's add some shadows. You're doing great. And some highlights to the edge of the leaves. Now fill in the background. The color is your choice. Finally, we'll do a couple of white circles. We'll connect them together, add a triangle below, and now we have our word bubble. Now here's the best part. You can make your flowers say whatever you want. Draw a large oval. Use a thick brush to draw two short vertical lines. Let's make a smile. Now we'll extend the smile. Now we're going to draw petals connected to these points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we'll do a thick line in the middle of these petals. With the eraser tool, I'm gonna to sharpen the ends of these lines as well. Now we'll draw the wiggly stem. I put in a couple little details. Let's add some grass down here too. Instead of grass, you could do a couple of leaves if you wanted to. Some highlights for the eyes. Now we'll shade the bottom of the face. Maybe the inside of the mouth a bit too. We'll color the petals yellow. I'm gonna shade the bottom of the petals too. Maybe a bit more shading in the middle. And now we just gotta add some green. That's looking great. We'll do a bright green highlight here too. And we're done. Nice work. Make two black ovals. Draw smaller ovals inside. Add pupils. Let's draw a nose. Time for some brow lines. Now a mouth below. Upper, Upper lip. lip. Lower, Lower lip. lip. Chin, Chin dent, dent thing. thing. Now for some cheek lines. Connect the bottom of the face. Now the top of the head. Using squiggly lines, we'll draw the outline of some hair and fill in with black. Now we'll start shading. Using black, trace the edge of the face, but leave some space. Nice yeah, trust me, this will make the mask look more metallic. Now we'll fill with our darkest gray, highlight the edges of the face. Try your best to replicate these highlights. Try your best to replicate these highlights. Try your best to replicate these. We'll darken the eyes, make the neck darker too. And then let's scribble all over the hair. And let's finish up with a corner of like a mirror down here. And we're done. You did great! Thanks for watching! What do you want me to do an art tutorial for next? Give me some suggestions in the comments below! 